Welcome back everybody, my name is Gnome Lord, bringing you yet another Mortal Kombat X tutorial. This tutorial is going to be teaching you how to use Predator's Brutalities. So without any further ado, if you would like to see a specific brutality, feel free to hop on down to the description below where you will find timestamps to help you get to each one. Otherwise, if you're interested in seeing all of the brutalities, then stick along with me. I'm going to be starting with the Warrior variation, and we'll see you there. Alright guys, so first up we have the Any Time Brutality. Now in order to perform this brutality, you can be in any one of Predator's variations. Now what's key to doing this properly is you must hold down when triggering your final hit. Not simply performing, but exactly when you go to trigger your x-ray, which I will explain in a moment, you want to make sure you're holding down. So of course, your final hit is going to come from What the Hell, which is of course your x-ray. And as usual, I'll provide you with an example. So here we go, let's hop on into it. Now. As everyone knows, the X-Ray is generally both back triggers, whether you be on the Xbox with left trigger and right trigger, or on the PlayStation with L2 and R2. So, again, what's very key to doing this properly is you need to be holding it down when you activate this brutality. However, another thing that they don't quite point out to you is the fact that there are three animations that will play out when you perform this X-Ray. The first one will fire a cannon at your opponent, the second will throw a blade into their throat, and the third will jam your blade into their stomach. Now what you need to account for is to kill your opponent for the second animation when the blade is thrown into the neck. You need to make sure your opponent has enough health so that by the time you get to this point in the x-ray they'll have died from it. Otherwise this will not entirely work 100% at least from my experience. So without any further ado, as you can see our opponent is more than well low enough. Let's go ahead again simply hit your x-ray and hit down when you go to perform this. Let's get into it. And there we have it, my friends. As you can see, our opponent's health bar is already entirely red, meaning you have gotten this x-ray to work properly. And there we have it. Boom. Simple enough. Very easy. Not too hard to do. Just again, as far as I can tell, you need to make sure you account for the x-ray killing them when the blade goes into their neck. You need to make sure their health is low enough so that when, by the time that animation specifically plays out, that they are going to die. So there we have it, my friends. On to our next brutality. Alright guys, so next up we have Time to Bleed Brutality. Now in order to perform this brutality, you can be in any one of Predator's variations. Now what's key to doing this properly is you want to hold up during the final hit, and your final hit itself should come from a throw. So without any further ado, allow me to provide you with an example. Now to do a throw, simply enough, on the Xbox is left button, or X and A at the same time if you have an arcade style grip, and if you're on the PlayStation, you're going to use L1, or square and X if you have an arcade and style grip. So without any further ado, let's do a throw. Simple enough, very easy, and very brutal if I do say so myself. There we have it. And as you can see, our opponent clearly has low enough health that we can kill them now. So again, simply grab your opponent and hold up while this throw is taking place. Let's hop into it. Yeah, there we have it, my friends. Boom! Haha! <laughs> I really like all of Predator's brutalities. You guys haven't quite seen them yet, but I did practice them all beforehand, so you guys are in for a treat, because in my opinion, his fatalities are not so great, but his brutalities, spot on, fantastic. So, on to the next one. Alright guys, so next up we have the final countdown brutality. Now in order to perform this brutality, you're going to want to be in Predator's warrior variation. Now, what's key to doing this properly is you need your final hit to either come from a self-detonate or a self-destruct, which of course is the enhanced version of the self-detonate. Now, it's that simple. There are no other requirements. Simply finish your opponent with one of these two moves, and that's really all there is to pulling off this brutality. So without any further ado, allow me to provide you with an example. So here we go. Now, we're going to start off with the self-detonate, which is down back B or down back circle on the PlayStation, and it should look something like this. Then you're going to want to walk up to your opponent, make sure you are near them, and pop. There we go. Only about 5% damage, not that much at all. I personally would highly recommend the self-destruct, which of course is the enhanced version. Still need at least one enhanced bar. Do down back B, right trigger, or down back circle R2. And it should look something like this. And again, make sure you're close to your opponent. Boom. Twice the amount. Very much better than the self-detonate. And that's really all there is to it, my friends. So, without any further ado... There are no other requirements to do this. Simply kill your opponent with either a self-DNA or a self-destruct. I'm going to be using the self-destruct as it is stronger and just better overall. Here we go. And remember, stay near your opponent when you do this. There we go, my friends. 
Bye bye. Boom. Can't really go wrong with that. And here we go. Head, arm. There we go. Head and arms. We got them both. There we have it, my friends. That's a great brutality. I love it. I don't know about you guys, but that one is really cool. Even though you take your own life, you literally have the last laugh. Because if you recall, he chuckles right before he detonates. So, there we have it, my friends. On to the next one. Alright, guys. So, next up, we have the skinned alive brutality. Now, in order to perform this brutality, you're going to want to be in Predator's Hunter variation. Now, simply enough, your final hit has to come from either a snag or a trap, and that is really the only requirement to this brutality. So, without any further ado, allow me to provide you with an example. So, here we go. The snag in itself is down back B or down back circle. Quite simple. You'll throw a trap down, and you'll want to wait a second for it to activate, and simply enough, your opponent will get caught. Now, again, the trap is, of course, going to be the better of the two variants, mainly because instead of having to wait that short grace period for the trap to activate, it'll activate immediately, like so. Simply enough, and that is simply down back B with the right trigger or down back circle R2. And that's really all there is to it, my friends. Let's get our opponent low enough and finish him off with a enhanced trap. Again, you can either do this with the snag or the trap. I'm just using the trap because it is the stronger of the two and the more quicker of the two so here we go peace have a good one my friend and the best part here comes yeah Woo! i love it it's a great feature again another very well done brutality it fits mortal kombat style so well and i wish a lot more of them were this creative because you know where else have we seen this so far? Where else has someone gotten skinned entirely and hung from their legs? Nowhere. At least none that I can remember, and I've gone through almost all the brutalities by now with you guys. So, on to the next one. Alright guys, so last up we have the If It Bleeds Brutality. Now in order to perform this brutality, you're going to want to be in Predator's Hish Q10 variation. I apologize if I have pronounced that incorrectly. And you want your final hit to come from a plasma shot, which is very simple, very easy. This is, again, yet another very easy brutality. A lot of Predator's brutalities were easy, almost so easy that you might think we don't need a tutorial for them. But I just figured I might as well cover them because I have been covering every character so far. So, without any further ado, let's hop right into it with your example. Now to do this, you're simply going to finish your opponent off with a plasma shot, which is back forward A or back forward X, like so. And that's all there is to it. Here we go. And boom, and boom. I like it. I wouldn't have liked it as much if it was just a simple shot to the head, but the fact that he goes ahead and blows off the other two limbs, the arms, makes it much more worth it and much more worth enjoying. So... There we have it, my friends, all of Predator's Brutalities. I don't know about you, but I love them all. He is probably one of the best-looking characters so far in this game in terms of just brutalities alone because they put a lot of work into that. Clearly, there was very good thought put out into a lot of these brutalities, and they are very unique to Predator himself, which I really like. His fatalities were not, you know, in my opinion, they're a little bit, eh. Not as good as they could have been, but his brutalities definitely make up for it, and his x-ray alone is very badass. So, there we have it, my friends. If this video helped you out one way or another, feel free to leave me a like or a comment down below. I'd really appreciate it. It means a lot. Let me know what you thought or what you might like to see from future videos. And if you enjoyed this content in general, feel free to subscribe, because I promise you, there's plenty more coming. So, without any further ado, thank you all very much for joining me for this episode, and we'll see you next time, guys. Stay safe. Stay happy.